Hey Challenge B, this is Latin, the lesson that begins on page 314. And this is on using the passive voice in purpose clauses. So it's combining the present or the imperfect plus the subjunctive mood and in the passive voice. So before we start, let's just remind ourselves what the difference is between active voice and passive voice. In active voice, the subject is performing the action, and in the passive voice, the subject is receiving the action. So you'll see in these sentences uh, this week that the passive voice is being used in subordinating clauses. All right, so we'll work through um, a couple of sentences. This is from exercise 324, and this is number one, and it says, they came into the forest lest they be routed. Okay, so the first thing we want to look at is what is the main clause? Well, it's they came into the forest, and then the purpose clause is lest they be routed. Okay, and look at the verb here. Um, in this, in this purpose clause, the verb is passive, lest they be routed. So instead of them doing the routing, they are being routed. So that is the passive voice. So let's make a note of that here. This is passive. And we also know that because this is a purpose clause, uh, what is the mood going to be? Yeah, the mood is going to be subjunctive. Okay, so just make a note of that so uh, that we don't forget. Um, another thing that we can make a note of is this verb here, they came. What tense is that? That is the perfect tense. And we know that if, um, if the verb in the, in the main clause is in a secondary tense, which the perfect tense is secondary, uh, then the verb that's in the purpose clause is going to be in the imperfect. So we'll make a note of that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, and just start um, translating now. Um, okay, so we know that this is perfect. They came. That's uh, third person, and it's plural. Um, can you hear my dryer in the background? I hope it's not too loud. Uh, and we know that came is the fourth conjugation. It is um, from come, winio, winir, wini, wentum. Uh, and when we have a perfect verb, we're going to build it on the third principal part. So we're going to start with when, and we'll look up the right ending. So uh, this is perfect, fourth conjugation, third person plural, and our ending is going to be errant. And this pronoun is wrapped up in our verb, so we don't need to even worry about translating that. Uh, into, well, that's in, but it shows motion. So we know that instead of the ablative, this is going to take the accusative. And uh, forest is one of those nouns that's always in the plural, so we'll make a note of that. Um, our stem is sil, and then our ending for the accusative, plural, and this is in the first declension, is os, os. All right, lest is just another way of saying in order that they may not. So uh, we'll have ne for the negative. Instead of ut, if it's in the positive, it would be ut, but because it's negative, we put ne. And they be routed, we can say all of that in one Latin verb. It's passive, subjunctive, imperfect, they, that's third person, and it's plural. Uh, routed is the verb pelo, peler, pepuli, pesos, uh, pulsus, and that is in the third conjugation. And um, the stem is uh, P-E-L-L, -L. and now we need to look up the ending. So this is our first time 
looking at a passive subjunctive imperfect, third person plural, third conjugation. So if you look at grammar number 273, you will see that it is erentur, palerentur. Okay, now the order, uh, can you see? Let me put that up. Okay, so our right order would be uh, in silwas. Now our verb at the end of this clause, whenerent, ne, palerentur, palerentur. Okay, and that's it. And you'll notice that in this exercise, uh, 324, they want you to practice translating uh, plenty of different verbs in the same sentence, but just different verbs. And so they'll give you, um, they came into the forest lest they be seen, or lest they be overcome, or lest they be conquered. So you, you follow the same process. They're all going to be passive, subjunctive, imperfect, third-person plural. The only thing that will change is which conjugation. Uh, the, the verb see, that's second conjugation, so your ending would be erentur. Overcome is a first conjugation, so the ending would be arentur. So um, it's easy to make those changes as long as you know the vocabulary. All right, have a great lesson.